and welcome. What is this? This is our Galerans Community League powered by Elgato Learning Division semifinals. I am Sajidine, joined by Wolf. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thanks. I am very excited for this match. We have Unicorns versus Team Eden for this first semifinals match. And I think it'll be a good one. So for Learning Division, we had six teams in total. They were all in the same group. So these two teams have met each other and played before. And Unicorns did come out on top. But it was it was good games, it seemed like, from the, the scorecards that we saw. So I'm curious to see how Team Eden comes into this game. Yes, and it's Icebox. We're opening things up. Making things cold. I am ready. A good, uh, you know, what is this? Sunday, it's a little Sunday morning icebox brunch. Who's <laughs> your agent? I don't think it's morning for anybody, though. It's one, isn't it 1 p.m. PST? Oh, of course it is. But, you know. I guess you can do brunch at 1 yeah, no, I guess I guess you're right. You could do brunch at one p.m. Yeah, it's it's a little bit Sunday. It's Sunday. Everybody kind of sleeps in and whatnot, but it's all good. We've got the girls ready with their picks. I'm 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 kind of liking this. Uh, Sage pretty standard on this map. Almost, I almost feel like required. But yeah, we do see a lot of Sage on this map, especially for that tunnel coming out of Kitchen. Lots of people like to yeah. put that wall up there. That they do. I mean, I, I like it just shuts one of the points of entries down, allows her to flow through and 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 kind of cover a map. Same thing, you see her uh, wall up. Hey, ooh, and we are seeing... The infamous spray dance from from this, you know, from from one of the teams. I thought that the other team was gonna do it too, but meta. Yeah. Will that <laughs> be the one that determines who gets this round? It could be. We've seen good things from teams that uh, do that <laughs> sticker spray dance early on. <laughs> yes, and it looks like A is. The first battleground of choice here, not realizing that Sabatics 4 already up on the nest here as the rest of Team Eden's rushing through onto site. The gun battle falls down, Minty first to fall, but Sabatic on the She's already grabbed herself one, delayed that spike plant, but it will go down. Unicorns with three bodies, Eden's down to two with make that one with barely a life left on Kawhi. she will fall very beautifully <laughs> and first <laughs> round will go to team unicorn yes that was having sabbatic spore go across there to nest was such a good play i can't believe that eden didn't check the nest i feel like that's kind of like a usual place to check but maybe they weren't expecting that amount of aggression coming out in in the first round here yeah. But they had no idea she was back there. That was that was a really nice easy flank for them to kind of trap the whole team on A site and, and get those kills mm -hmm. easily. Yeah, that's going to be a uh, a little burn lesson, right? You you touch a hot stove, you're going to start checking that spot almost every time at this point until uh, uh, until like it doesn't get ingrained again, but it's round two. SMGs are now in their hands. Are they going to change things up? Yeah, it looks like we're getting more of a kind of default setup. Maybe seeing if there's going to be some aggression from the unicorns, since they do have those better guns, as, as you mentioned. Uh, Eden's just going to wait for a moment to see what unicorns are going to do. But it doesn't really look like the unicorns are going to push too much. We do have the Ray's Meow Prodigy inching up on mid, but I don't think she's actually going to push it. Uh, yeah, I, uh, but look at this omen, though, from Unicorns. She's also already pushed up. Scout living up to her name. 
scouting that she, I believe she grabbed the orb and falls back, but this is going to be a very passive play. Wall is going down though, so Lear will be used to open up the site onto A as the choice, but Yoshi finds the opening pick, takes one out, scouts quite a few more, and will possibly even push Team Eden's left. way back from with those pain shells, so they're just gonna rotate oh, themselves out onto B. But unicorns, they already got that read. They've reset themselves as well. They are already back in their prime scouting positions. Two bodies already holding B site as that Ten spike needs left. to go down. Oh, she sees spike the top of her it. head. Spike will drop, there but close. She takes a lot of damage, will eventually Last fall. It's standing. now up to... Laugh, let's just say just one. Up to Kawaii again, but Minty already with the triple. She's hunting for her 4k. Uh, uh. Yoshi closes that out though, grabs another round for Team Unicorns. Yes, indeed. It was really nice to watch them do that. Like, as we mentioned, it was kind of a slow start. There wasn't any sort of like aggressive push one way or the other. But the unicorns didn't over rotate once uh, Team Eden started coming towards a site, which was really good. We did see that their Omen scout and I believe the Sova Minty was still kind of in the mid area waiting to see if they were actually going to execute on A or once that first pick came through, if they were going to back off and start rotating to B. So once that rotation came through, they were ready. They were already over there at B and able to put some pressure on Eden before they could get the plant down. That indeed. Wall is up, as we've discussed at the beginning of the round, to just shut down any entry in that tube to kitchen. It really does make it a little bit easier to hold and just look at how they are positioned here for Team Unicorns. They've just spread themselves out across the map, but Eden, they want to try their hand at B site, so they're already on its borders. Lear again to open things up for them on this site. Scout right here to hold, signaling the rest of her team that this is the play. Will get tagged by that pain shelf, but Spike now down for Eden's, and it's a post plant position here, and battle already underway as both teams dropping their utility to try and get into position for a gunfight. Satchel's from Prodigy. She grabs herself one before falling. But Sabatix and Yoshi grab themselves another. It's a 3v2. And a Kawaii lasts again and she will quickly fall clean round for unicorns on that retake and they will take that. Yes, so we're coming into the fourth round here. Eden's probably not too happy with this right now. Um, but I think they're getting some good information. We do have Sabatic Spore on the Reyna. She and Minty are both like really top fragging for unicorns right now. And Eden needs to be aware of that and kind of get the information of like, maybe where are those players continuing to play? And should they try to avoid those sites a little bit? Or, or push hard and try to get, take those two out early, even if they have to trade out some of their players to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with losing three rounds in the road, the economy that Enemy Team time. Edens have right now looking a little rough. They're on SMGs and light armor with that one sheriff in the hands of... I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. Kolod, Kolodi? But Spike, orders of A, as noises are being made at B. Oh, this is this is a good play for them. Because we can see that the unicorns are actually rotating off here. They just need to wait a little bit longer before hitting onto this A site. Because the Reyna is still lurking just a bit. Oh, yeah, that smoke gives that away. So that stalls that rotation from Sobatic. Sabatic Spore and Meow Prodigy, so they're rotating themselves back. Spike will go down, but maybe with that movement, they're able to kind of position themselves better for this retake. 
Yeah, Shock this darts is good, and uh, yeah, <laughs> they oh, have God. the spike down. So now the defense is on a timer. They have to move quickly in order to get into this site now. Oh yeah, that Empress being used by Sabbatic Spore, very scary. And but it doesn't matter. Rest of her team finding frags for themselves. Sabbatic Spore closes it out with a double. And again, this they just. So organized, pushing in, claims the round, 4-0. Yeah, you can definitely see there that um, Unicorns have very good communication. Nobody went in trying to take like a 1v5 situation or anything like that. They all waited until everybody was in position. You had your flankers come in, and making sure to trap Eden on site again. We've seen them do this in the first round, where they kind of pincer move them <laughs> so that everybody is trapped. Mm -hmm between different crossfires and then they all execute together as i was saying they were on a timer so like they had to do it quickly but there was still there was no like chaos no panic they were prepared and they were communicating well when they went to the execution they did it they retook the site i think the timer said they had three seconds left so it was getting close but it wasn't in like a panic inducing run down to the timer to defuse that spike yeah and just trying to have to figure out the best positions when you're losing those gunfights, those gun battles against a team that's fragging hot right now. And uh, like you kind, I, I would almost like recommend like kind of making sure to hold on to some utilities as well. They have a sky, they have an omen with paranoia, three flashes, and a wolf to scout things out. Uh, they definitely need to be utilizing that more. But look, the tube left open to its own devices. Yuli will push through, forcing um, Yoshi back. But rest of her team already converging to help things out. But Kolodi finds her eventually. And they are going to use this to push their way through onto B site. Trades coming out. Heals not able to connect here. And spike Minty down, with a me. double gets that spike down and claims the round again for Team Unicorns. Yeah, that was that was a really good uh, play from Eden, like taking realizing that the tunnel was open, that they didn't put that sage wall up. They could go in there. As you mentioned, you know we haven't seen too much utility usage from them. Uh, and the, of course, as you were saying it, Yuli put out her her leer to actually blind the site. Right. Um, Yoshi was very lucky because her teammate Scout on the Omen got the call that they were in Kitchen and blinded them back, so she was able to get out a little bit. She did eventually fall later on, but um, that was like a nice double play from those two. And just... It seemed like uh, Eden, they got onto site and they were good, but then they forgot about the little pass through from the back where people could actually see them, yeah. and it got a little bit disorganized once they actually got to the site. It was good to see them change up the strategy. You definitely need to do that when you're attacking on different sites um, in mm -hmm. order to throw off the defense, make them second guess and not just start stacking the place that you always go to. Over. Yep, Malpiaggi though connects, finds the head of Kalodi and that tells the rest of her team that there are bodies Satchel in up. A. She's gonna satchel herself to safety and it the hesitation from Team Eden to commit to this site. They've ex already lost one, expended a flash and a wolf, but Yuli finds herself one as they were trying to get pushed. It's an even game still. Scout, though, on the flank, she'll spot the bodies on rotate. And yeah. it seems to be, is it a race to be? <laughs> It looks like it is, though. We do have some of Eden is staying behind. Maybe... Oh, there's the res to come out, bring back Kal Kalat. <laughs> Pulls some defenders over towards the A site. That's really nice. Yeah. Minty will find the plant... The planner with... <laughs> with her Hunter's Fury, but Yuli, she's holding the flank side down keeping Team Unicorns at bay here a little bit distracted, and it's really working out in their favor. 
It's all down to a 2v3, but Meow Prodigy so far has been really connecting with her shots. She's on a triple. Finally will fall to the judge of Kawaii. Scout running out of time. They will finish her off with a triple kill from Yuli and Team Eden's on the board. Last player standing. Yeah, that was really nice from Team Eden. Uh, especially Yuli. We saw her, she was kind of in the mid as everybody was rotating over towards B, hanging out there. None of the defense spotted her. They didn't know that she was sticking back there. They knew about the res that was on A site. And so they were, I think we saw the, the Reyna from... Uh, Unicorns was still over there, but she didn't know that she was going to meet her doppelganger in the mid. Got that easy pick, mm -hmm. was able to come in on the flank and get that really good crossfire on Scout for that last kill. Yes, and that has to feel good for Team Edens right here. So if they, if they can keep that going, they can definitely close this gap a little bit. But two ultimates are available on the side of Team Unicorns and Yoshi with her res has to be a bit concerning because then she could even things out if they manage to find that one pick. Yeah, that's true. But on the other hand, Eden does have three of their own, including the Showstopper, which could very easily clear out spaces. The Seekers, which will give them information on how many people are on in certain directions. Uh, and, of course, Reyna's Empress. And Yuli, she's warming herself up. She's got the opening frag here, and that is pretty big for her team. If they can pick a site that they want to decide that they can like push through, and they've already rotated themselves out of A. They're kind of doing a little bit of a mid dance, but that Al drone will spot them out. Yeah, twenty five seconds left on the clock, though. They have to make a decision here soon. It looks like it is A. They open it up. Lear and Flash. Yoshi, though, finds Kulo in the backside. Meow Prodigy shuts Yuli down as well. Oh my goodness. They wreck that wall. Plant no time left. Spike is down. And a worm on her own has to fall back. Trying not to fall to save her rifle. Oh, gets a kill. <laughs> the last kill. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit unfortunate because, like, it seemed like Eden was just had a plan and then just took too long to execute it. That was unfortunate for them. It's one of the things in this game, though, like, you have to be very careful about watching the timer and not running it down so close. But you live and you learn. Hopefully they've learned from that and we'll see them be a tiny bit more aggressive watching that timer a little bit more so they don't get caught out again. They really like this A site. Yeah. I've noticed that it's definitely like a common place like in general for a lot of people to play and I, I can understand a little bit. It's un unless you're sitting with like the operator or something. Oh, but hold on. Showstopper flying through trying to find someone. Ice mid-air, not able to connect with anybody in float. She will get herself a kill for Team Edens, but it's a 4v3 right now. So much damage on the side of Edens, and they still have not gotten that spike down. They are just getting picked off right here, and eventually will fall. Yes. I think they heard me when I said they needed to be a little bit faster and went a little too fast at that point. <laughs> but they were also on a bit of a weird buy. I think they only had like one rifle mm -hmm. to their names and a bunch of kind of miscellaneous. Oh, no, they had a bulldog. So two rifles, technically, and some miscellaneous guns. Their economy's not great right now. It they honestly probably need to do like a full save run in order to get this back on track so that they can actually buy together rather than this mishmash of what they're doing now because it's certainly not helping them that they're being outgunned at the distance because since unicorns mm -hmm. have those rifles they can very easily take those distance shots whereas most of eden needs to get up close to do any real damage yeah 
That is true. It looks like they're positioning themselves in a pseudo default of sorts. Spike still sitting in the middle. Yuli pushed way up from the shadows used by Kolo in the middle to try and see if she can find some bodies, but immediately gets destroyed. So that's kind of a signal for her. And Yuli finds her first pick. She's there spotting each other, shoulder peeking right here. Rest of her team already making their way over. Yeah, we do see that the defense is already rotating, but not in time to stop this plan. Yeah, Minty opens up the round with that and her friend Sabatic Spore on the Empress. They are pushing in. We've seen how deadly Team Unicorns are when they push in. Sabatic Spore already finds herself one. Meow Prodigy grabs herself another, but that Judge still on Kawhi grabs takes down, down Minty, shuts her down, and eventually, rest of Team Edens, they will fall. Spike will be defused. Another round claimed by the Unicorn. Yeah. Team Eden does very well to get the plant down on B. <laughs> they really need to go there more, I think. Um, that was a, a good start from them, though. You know, we saw them do kind of a default. They pushed up in various places, trying to get some information of, like, where are the majority of these defenders? And I, they need to use... The, I think they need to use their alts more, honestly. Like, we've seen Sage... Or, not sorry, not Sage. Sky and Reyna have had their alts for probably four or five rounds now, and neither one have used yeah. them. And, like, the Reyna alt, yes, it's kind of situational a little bit, but Sky's alt, you can pop that pretty early on it around just to gain some information of where people are and that would definitely help them kind of inform whether or not they should be executing on a or b mm -hmm. that's true and i mean even like when you said like that they had a really good shot getting that spike down and claiming b side even getting some frags it you know they've had scout holding that on her own pretty much every round so far but because they read they read it right they see that a seems to be the play quite often and they're just going to keep keeping two bodies here until that changes yeah and i feel like this is kind of a default setup for this map where defenders put two on a two in the mid kind of kitchen area and one on b because like b is open it's fairly easy to retake it as long as you don't let the defenders get like too dug or sorry the attackers get too dug in on their post plant defense Mm-hmm. Yep. Wolf will find Meow Prodigy in the backside, and they're gonna have to try and converge her, but she's sitting protected by the omen smoke right now. Minty and Meow finding themselves kills so fast. Spike not even able to go down yet for Team Eden. Spike down A. What a bloodbath that round was. Team Unicorns claim another. Yeah, Team Eden, when they do execute on the site, really like to push in together. They like to, to move together onto site to get that down. This is a big map. It might be beneficial for them to actually start splitting up a little bit. You know, send two to go in on the flank. The one round that they won, they had their Reyna. Yuli was on a flank outside of the rest of the mm -hmm. team. At this time, unicorns know that if you see one, you're probably going to see the other four. So mix it up. They right. need to mix it up a little bit. Need to do something unexpected that the unicorns aren't going to just automatically know where everybody is going to be. Because we do see that the unicorns, they spot somebody and they all rotate over because they know they're going to see the rest of the team there. Yeah. Get the way Yuli, she'll get spotted by Meow Prodigy, who's pushed up. So that's an opening pick for the unicorns. And Rez is available. And I think that's definitely something that they're considering right now. But. Yeah, that now, seems to be geez. the play. They need to be careful. They've extended the wall for that too. Yeah, we're seeing some movement in mid. Scout is still sitting there on B just in case this might be a, a bit of a fake out. Mm -hmm. But with 35 seconds left on the clock, they need to make a decision soon. We're, I think we're going to start seeing the defense come together a little bit more. 30 seconds left. 
they don't see them on A, people are going to start rotating over towards B, expecting at this point that it's not going to be oh. a fake out, they're going to go to B. That they are. Lear again used to open things up. Scout smoking things away. Spike will go down with 13 seconds left, but Hunter's Fury finding one. Yoshi clearing out the rest. It's a 3v5 trying to hold this spike so that it explodes. Huff call for Eden here. Showstopper out One will connect, remaining. taking Cloat again. Bodies falling. It's all up to Yuli, but she will fall as well. And that is now 10 1 for the unicorn. Yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. I think we did see Bun Bun use half. her seekers right there. I believe all three of them got destroyed by that showstopper. Uh, a bit of an unfortunate timing there. Um, so we have very few ultimates on both teams. This is the last round in the half. Uh, so we're going to see both of them probably be popped. You know, we have the Empress over on Yuli on the attacker side. And uh, over here on defense, Scout does have her from the shadows. Probably use that to gain some information to see where these teams might be going. Or if they hard push here, possibly to get out of this situation and regroup with her team. Yeah. I kind of like this, but look at the position Scout is in. They Will they find her? Oh, she drops. That is okay. Oh, look at that wall boost. Yuli takes so much damage from that, but Spike is down and she'll get healed by her teammate Worm. Gets traded out. 4v3 right now. So much gunfight, but... One enemy remaining. A Kawhi to her lonesome drops again. Another round swinging for the unicorn. Yeah, this is gonna be a rough side swap because it's gonna be eleven to one. If they lose the pistol, Eden is going to be on. Or sorry, unicorns will be on match point, and Eden is going to have a rough time of it. Uh, they did lose the pistol in the first round, but things change when you're on defense. So we'll see. Maybe they can get the pistol here, get some momentum going to close this gap a little bit. Yes. They need to do... Do the spray dance. That's clearly <laughs> oh, yes. the meta. Clearly this See? is this is the reason that <laughs> unicorns are doing so well. It, it <laughs> is! Someone pull up a statistic on that spike, GG. Do you have something? I would like to know. <laughs> More than anything, it's probably just like a good team building exercise of like, yeah, we're all doing this <laughs> together. Now we're going to go play together. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like they're Definitely. setting up for the kind of default A execution. Everybody loves this site. Revealing <laughs> but we have, we have two it's... defenders over here, so could be pretty hard to take this. The rest of the... Uh... Rest of Eden's already rotating themselves over. Oh, that frenzy tags quite a bit, but it's Bun Bun that finds the opening kill. Spike now in play. Look at all of the damage that Eden is taking, though. They are sitting on so little HP, but and it's a 3v3, so they it's just still very doable. They have heals available if they are if they can stay alive. That spike is taking. <laughs> One enemy remaining. So much pew pews, but Yoshi triple <laughs> kill so far for her. Make that a quadra. That's the twelve. Yeah, perpetual match, match point now for uh, the team Eden has to kind of deal with here. We saw Worm start to go on kind of a flanking run to come in behind the unicorns, and I think that would have been the play there, but she turned around. I think her team was getting a little bit overwhelmed, and so she decided to turn around rather than taking that long route to get in behind them. That is something that is different between these two teams. Unicorns were very much like confident in doing those flanks in that their teammates on site would at least stall long enough for them to get, get over there, get that flank in. And as we were talking about before, like that pincer move made it very easy for them to just pick off the Team Eden players. 
And I think Eden needs to kind of take a, a page out of that playbook here. Yeah. I even saw like the hesitation, like the, they are now making their way onto site. Now Prodigy finds the first kill. She took a bit of damage, but will get healed up. Spike still not planted. They are going to do that just right now, but rest. Rest of Eden already making their way onto site, even though they're a woman down. Make that too as Minty and Savatic Spore. Or okay, Mage one of Team Unicorn. They're just finding it. We'll shut it down. 13 1. Convincing win for them. Definitely. That was that was a really good game from the Unicorns. So it looks like we're going to be going to Haven as our second map. That is going to be, let's see here. I think that's going to be the Unicorns pick is going to be Haven. So Icebox was Eden's pick. That's OK. We're going to have a bit of a five minute break here. And then we'll come back and see how these two teams do on Haven, which is a little bit of a different map to plan with the three sites. Could change things up for both teams. Sounds good. So we'll see you all in a little bit. <laughs> 